What does it truly mean to be alive? It is a question as old as science itself, yet one we still struggle to answer. Because every time we think we have drawn a clear line between the living and the non-living, nature surprises us. And now, a microscopic discovery from the depths of our oceans has done exactly that. Inside a tiny species of plankton called Citharis regis, scientists have found a strange, almost ghost-like entity. Something so bizarre that it may force us to rethink the very definition of life itself, its name is Sukunachia mirabili, and it is unlike anything we have seen before, discovered by researchers from Dalhousie University, Sukunachium is not a virus but it is not a normal living cell either. Instead, it exists somewhere in between, right on the edge of biological existence. To understand why this microbe is so extraordinary, let's step back for a moment. Traditionally, viruses have been excluded from the category of life because they cannot replicate or survive on their own. They hijack their host's cellular machinery to copy their genes and build new viral particles. Without a host, they are inert. Living cells on the other hand sustain themselves. They carry the internal machinery needed to grow, metabolize, and reproduce, but Sukunachium mirabili challenges this neat division. This microbe has an extremely stripped-down genome. Only 238,000 base pairs of DNA. For comparison, some giant viruses carry over 2 million. And like a virus, Sukunachium delegates almost all essential functions to its host, the plankton, it has no genes for metabolism. No recognizable pathways to generate energy or process nutrients. By traditional standards, that should make it dependent and biologically incomplete, but there is a crucial difference. Unlike viruses, Sukunachium retains the ability to produce its own DNA replication machinery. It carries genes to build ribosomes, the microscopic factories that make proteins, along with messenger RNA and transfer RNA, it also likely produces proteins that help form a membrane to enclose its tiny circular DNA. That membrane may be key to how it interacts with its host. Genetic analysis suggests that Sukunachium belongs to the domain Archaea, the same ancient lineage from which our complex eukaryotic cells evolved. Its circular chromosome also resembles the genetic material seen in bacteria and Archaea, but with no genes for metabolism and complete reliance on its host, it blurs the boundary between what we call a cell and what we call a virus. This raises a profound question. If a cell can lose almost all independent biological function and still reproduce, at what point does it stop being alive? Or perhaps more importantly, was life always meant to be defined in strict categories at all? The discovery of Sukunachium mirabili is not just about a peculiar microbe hiding in plankton. It is about the fundamental limits of life itself.